rate adjustment will take into account which of the following. Initial rate, margin and cap. Federal funds rate, cap and initial rate. Discount rate, index rate and margin. Index rate, margin and cap. So the, it's either A or D. The word is index or initial? Index rate. Okay, the correct answer is index rate. Very basic question. A borrower and mortgage transaction is called a mortgager, mortgagee, lending, beneficiary. So the answer is. Okay, let's look at our favorite Google. Ah, Google says borrower. Okay. The O R. Yep. Borrower is the mortgagor. No, the beneficiary is the lender. Because we the ones who mortgage. Basically, yep. our, our house. Okay, good. For an FHA loan, an acceptable source of down payment assistance is the seller, a real estate broker, a gift from a nonprofit called Nehemiah, Nehemiah, the mortgage licensee. Um, acceptable source of down payment assistance, assistance, not down payment. Okay, so this is how the test is tricky. It says nonprofit organization. Okay, so please be careful. When interest rates are rising rapidly, a loan applicant should be made aware that the effect on an arm loan would be a reduced interest cost, greater risk to the borrower, greater assurance of loan approval, or reduced settlement expenses. Greater risk. Greater risk. Correct. The name of Freddie Mac's automated risk assessment program their engine is loan processor, desktop underwriter, FICO, or loan prospector. Okay, this is a trick question. You got two two entities, Freddie Mac and you got Fannie Mae. Okay, Freddie Mac is loan prospector, Fannie Mae is desktop underwriter. So for Freddie Mac, the answer is loan prospector. Okay? Okay? It's abbreviated LP. So when you talk to Adrian, Adrian says, I gotta run LP. Now you know what that means. He's running that engine. Desktop underwriter is Fannie Mae. In qualifying the income of a sole proprietor borrower, the originator should consider which of the following to be the most important. Sole proprietor means they have a business. Okay. So is it A, expenses reported on Form 2106? How many people here prepare taxes? Isn't that crazy they have to know this stuff, you know, even though this is like all tax stuff? Form 2106. Um, 2106 is, uh, if you're a W-2, you can write off stuff on the 2106. Schedule C net income plus non-cash expenses and depreciation, maybe. Form 1040 adjusted gross income, maybe. Schedule C net income, maybe. Okay. All right. So the answer is actually Schedule C plus the depreciation, okay? I got exactly that question. Oh, okay. That See? That Testimony. Question? Exactly yeah. that Here, question. I have a good memory, huh? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> here's, the, <laughs> here's the verbiage, okay? I mean, here's the uh, here's the explanation. Okay, imagine imagine you have a, um, a copier, like the copier in the back there, and it costs $10,000, okay? Imagine it's bigger. It costs $10,000, and you write it off every year. Okay, you depreciate it. Technically, that's not an expense that the borrower incurs, right? It's just a, it's just a write-off. So then you add it back to the income. So when you say plus depreciation, it means you add back that expense. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The cost of the equipment gets added back. Okay, what is the minimum equity required to eliminate mortgage insurance? All right, this is a trick question. This is a trick question. Let me, because it's not saying what is Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA? It's just what is a minimum? Okay, minimum. Keyword. Banking. All right. Equity. Equity. So it's not equity. It's five years minimum. No, banking. Okay. All right. It's actually for equity. Five years minimum. Okay. For insurance. Have you guys been to Agent's presentation? <laughs> yeah, presentation. FHA, FHA presentation, okay? FHA says 22% in a five year period, but it's asking for equity, which means it's just 
Okay, does that make sense? What is the minimum equity? Yes. What is the minimum equity required? That's correct. Borrower, borrower buys a house. There are actually two equity actually that you have to care about. Okay. 20 and 22. The 20 is actually, and this is not FHA, not conventional. On 20, they're going to give you a chance to cancel it. They're going to send a notice that says, oh, you can cancel it at 20. Right? But at 22, unless it's a HUPA loan, or something which is a Section 32 loan, then it's 22. On a Section 32, it's 50. Automatic cancellation. Oh. So at 22, you're automatically I'm required to eliminate it. There you go. The right? Then at 22, you're automatically going to get it, um, what you call it, eliminated. At 20, they're going to send you a letter that says, oh, do you want to yeah, take it out? The question up? asks if it requires eliminate. This is this yeah, so is it's a little bit tricky question. This yeah. oh, it is a because we know it's twenty. Yeah, we know. I know it's yeah. twenty. But the five year. But that's a choice. Yes, the but five year minimum two, you have is to. only for FHA. So, so what is the trick here? You know, PMI usually doesn't yeah. like that. So what is the trick here? Like, uh, in order for us to pick up the twenty two, is the equity? Is that is that is required? Like required. Why? So here's here's how required. you're actually taught required this. Okay, um, you take a hundred minus twenty two, you get seventy eight. Okay, so what Tony remembers is, for at least for FHA, 78% yeah. loan to value and five years, you can remove the mortgage insurance. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it didn't ask for the period. So 78 is the minimum equity required to eliminate the mortgage insurance. Does that does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Annual percentage rate consists of the contract rate plus the index. The closing cost financed into the balance of the loan in an interest rate form, or the contract rate plus the margin? Two. That's correct. The closing cost financed into the balance. All right. This is a tricky one. Uh, I, I don't like this one. This was on the test like three times, so I would know this. Okay. When is it acceptable to discriminate? Never. Income. Never? Is it based on income? Is it too old? To understand the terms, or is it too young? If the applicant is, let's say, let's say uh, young, right, there's no way in heck that he would be able to understand and sign on a loan, correct? But for the purpose of this test, the answer is never. Okay. Because they don't have capacity to enter into a contract. Okay, you got a 50-50 shot here. Purpose of RESPA is regulate closing process or regulate discrimination? Regulate discrimination. Okay, very good. HUD dis regulates discrimination. The purpose of RESPA is to regulate the closing process. Okay. So cost. Cost, referral fees, etc. Okay. On the test, you will get four answers. Okay, this is just an easy test. A discount point is used for crediting the borrower, making a higher commission, buying down the interest rate with a charge. Okay, remember to discount. You're buying down the interest rate. All right, truth in lending form. It provides the contract interest rate the borrower pay, the note rate the borrower is charged when, and when the first payment date is scheduled for, or it provides borrowers with an idea of the total closing costs and finance charges. This is also tricky. The answer is borrowers with an idea of the total closing costs and finance charges. When is the appraisal disclosure required to be delivered? This is this is a different, okay? It's not the GFE, it's the appraisal. So when an application is taken, okay? When a complete application is taken, agree? Yeah. Notice of right to receive an appraisal. Yeah, it's called notice of right to receive an appraisal. Okay, it's part of your, your loan packet. So do you do you yeah? Do you keep it right away, or should you wait until they ask you, or what do you do? What does the answer say? Uh, when it is taken? Because some some people doesn't care. 
When should they get assigned? Right away. Okay? All right. A property that is appraised with a higher than market value, besides being a good deal, is a inflated appraisal, obsolete appraisal, reconciled appraisal, or conforming appraisal. Very tricky. Okay? It's not a good deal because it's inflated. All right. How can one calculate per diem interest? What does diem stand for? Per day. Per day. day. You take the loan amount or the balance times the annual interest rate times the number of days in the year. You take the loan amount or the balance divided by the annual interest rate divided by the number of days in the year. Or you take the loan amount or the balance times the annual interest rate divided by 12. Or you take the loan amount or balance times the annual interest rate divided by the number of days in the year. Number of days in the year. You take the loan amount or balance times the annual interest rate divided by the number of days in the year. A woman, a woman may be denied credit on the basis of any of the following, except that she lacks sufficient funds for the necessary down payment, she has a hearing loss, and has a number of late payments. Her current <coughs> pregnancy is an indication that she may stop working once the baby is born. Did you get this question? Yes. Oh, okay. This is a valid question. Mm -hmm. she, she has a number of gaps in her employment over the past two years. Okay, so let's work backwards. Let's say we got two words, two negative words, denial and accept. So when can a woman get get credit, basically? When can she be denied? When can she be denied? Okay, her current pregnancy is an indication that she may stop working once the baby is born. All A loan is a class of subprime. reverse mortgage, seller financing, subprime, or adjustable rate. Okay, in the old days, I would argue it wouldn't be subprime; it'd be 